forgive me that I didn't make the video on Friday. So what I'm going to do is, today is another schedule. I will combine the Friday and today, which is Sunday, together making this video. So it's going to be the same, but we are going to include a few things. Also because I was busy with uh, the guests and uh, tonight is another guest arriving from central Java on the way to Denmark. So she's going to stay here one week or seven nights or eight nights, something like that. So how are you? I hope you're having a good time. It's a weekend again, but it's Sunday here in Jakarta. And uh, I'm going to just ramble again because I, like I say already repeatedly that uh, all my videos are unscripted. And uh, since I can't take you anywhere with me, we will just have to make do with the filming from the webcam, all right? I was looking at the old photos that I found on my USB. So I, I posted some on my uh, uh, Facebook. And uh, yeah, it's nice to look back. It's nice to have experience traveling and uh, uh, attending beautiful events and been to many wonderful places the only thing i regret is at that time there was no instagram yet or there was no facebook as yet so i could only take poor photos because my late husband wasn't a fan of taking pictures because he couldn't be bothered learning the camera how it works. So I've always had to do myself and I'm not a, a, a good photographer either. So uh, yeah, that, that was uh, one uh, uh, annoying thing between us because we went everywhere. And uh, yes, we couldn't take beautiful photos because he just couldn't be bothered with the camera. He did, of course, take some, but they were not the best, I'm afraid. You know, I remember when he took me to uh, Venice uh, as part of his uh, courting days towards me. He had this uh, water taxi that belongs to the hotel, which is private taking us to Murano Island to see how they make the glass works. You know, those uh, little animals, the blowing glass. Yeah, glass blown works, yes. But the funny thing at the time, I couldn't communicate well with him yet because his English was not the best as yet and my Italian wasn't there <laughs> at all but how funny when you know we stayed in this beautiful hotel called Danieli where uh, they made quite several films in that hotel one of them is called death of Fanny, something like that and um, yeah so he took me on this water taxi belongs to the hotel so just the three of us and i didn't dress well you know i mean today when i see all these girls they travel all over the world alone <clears throat> or with their boyfriends or with their husband trying to show people that they travel and they stay in these beautiful wonderful hotels and they dress to the ninth to show how you know beautiful life is and i did not can you believe that i did not oh my god you know 
I didn't dress. I just put on a t-shirt and a white pair of pants, and that was it. Poor husband of mine, but at that time, at that time, he was still courting me. He must have thought, "Oh my God, what girl did I bring here?" You know, because he was so accustomed to dressy women, because his ex girlfriend was a model and one of them was a very sexy blonde girl and there I was you know he took me dress so down because I didn't understand that how to then how to dress in Italy at that time so so oh poor man you know he took me dressed so 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 you know non-event like oh if i had known i would have dressed to the ninth too because with, with the places that he took me to oh my god they were wonderful they he took me to positano you know the amalfi coast uh, portofino lake garda lake como florence and all those beautiful hotels beautiful restaurants rome he took me to Via Condotti, where he surprised me by saying, go into that jewelry shop. And I don't understand yet. Oh my God, I was so clueless. Can you believe that? Completely, totally clueless. And he, would, he said to me, go into that uh, 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 jewelry shop. And I said, oh, okay, you know. And I went inside. And then, of course, he followed me. And he saw this beautiful... Uh, bracelet uh, with three colored gold uh, the red yellow and white gold in this beautiful oh my god bracelet and he purchased it for me so it was a symbol for our first time in Rome at that time and oh my god I was just so clueless and okay I'm going to confess to you and then one day we had a fight I'm sorry to, to, to because I'm a difficult woman and I did warn him. And we, we had a fight in the car, I think maybe months later, seven months or eight months later. Um, and we, I'm sorry to share this with you. It was terrible. Oh, I don't know where I, you know, I, there I was with an Italian man and I'm supposed to be this sweet, docile Asian woman. And I was so temperamental, you know. And we had a fight and somehow he pulled me because maybe I wanted to go out because I can't recall anymore exactly what happened. And I wanted to go out of the car and maybe he pulled me and then I just got out and then he chased me and then he pulled me. And you know what? That bracelet fell somewhere there. Somewhere where we stopped and I never found that bracelet again. Can you believe that? How terrible I was. Oh my God, please, you know, uh, you know, if one thing I would like to at least take the, you know, the, 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 uh, the what do you call the good thing out of this incident, please don't fight with your boyfriend or your husband, please, in the car, especially where you leave the car and then he chases you and then he struggles with you, wanting you to come back into the car oh my god if i look back if i think back why the hell did i behave like that i'm so sorry please forgive me so that is one thing of my terrible terrible memory with him and i'm i'm i just felt so i feel so bad now can you believe that you know it was ungrateful of me you know not realizing that how many women would like to have a man like him? Oh my God. And I didn't know how to appreciate it only because I was clueless and ignorant. Yes, I'm going to confess to you that I was ignorant, you know. Oh my God. But that could be the fact that I was ignorant. That's why she fell in love with me. I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is nothing turned him off. You know, nothing, nothing. He could have just said to himself, forget it, you know. I, I've had it with this woman, you know. I just don't want to go on with this woman. Let her go back to Indonesia and that's it. I'm going to pretend that, you know, I can't anymore. Because I'm busy or maybe because, I, you know, he could have used 
all the tricks in the books, all the excuses that he could have, you know, uh, invented to tell me not to come back to Italy. But he kept on giving me the ticket. No, you come back, you come back, you're this is the ticket, you have to go come back, you know, and we got to take care of the visa. And actually, only after a few months in Milan, he already asked his sister to enroll me in an Italian school, language school. So he was a gentleman. Oh my God, I, it's, it's amazing now when I look back and when I think back because I see now women, you know, find it difficult to meet the right man. So, so that was it. So, so I didn't know how to appreciate it. So that bracelet was gone. Beautiful. I have one photo, but it's from far, wearing that photo, that uh, bracelet still in Rome. Yes, I do have, but it's it's too far to see. So that was it. That was one beautiful memory in Venice and in Rome. And then, of course, you know, he took me to Sicily. Sicily, he, his, his family is from Cefalu. And uh, that is like, what, how many hours drive from Messina? Because we, when you come to Sicily by car, first of, of all, from Milan to the south of Italy, it's like seven hours. So we stopped in Rome to stay there for two nights, you know, enjoying going to the restaurant, you know, and uh, just having beautiful, wonderful time there. And then we would drive all the way to the south of Italy in Calabria. In Calabria, maybe we would stay one night and then uh, we would cross the, the sea, the Mediterranean Sea to Sicily, which is Messina. You have to arrive in Messina first. And from Messina, we drove like another seven hours, I think, to Cefalu. So he took me there, you know, because he had his family villa then, and the vineyard, and he, his sister and the mother were waiting already there. He was so odd for me to find myself in the middle of nowhere amongst these Italian people, you know, sparsely populated, but still, you know, they have their own little uh, village. So among them, they know, oh, this is the son of this, oh, this is the daughter of this, this is the, this family, and blah, blah, blah. So uh, that's how, you know, it uh, went. And he took me to the sister of his father, who was like so old, but so so healthy. And yes, in this little, little house on top of the hill in Sicily. And then she cooked us this uh, beautiful pasta. And that's when I saw how they prepared the tomato sauce. Apparently they boil first, like they blanch, not boil. And then they, they peel the skin off and then throw the skin and the uh, the inside of the tomato they blend with their own hands, not with the machine, to make the sauce. And it's so fresh and so sweet and so mm, so tasty. So that's how I came to learn how Italian food actually is very, very simple, but fresh, and that's the key. Fresh, simple, no, uh, not, too, not too many spices or herbs that kills a specific taste for specific pasta. So each shape of the pasta has different sauce to go with it. So you don't mix the any pasta with any sauce. That's not in Italy. You're not supposed to do that. You know, it has its own sauce for every shape of pasta. I hope you can see me. It's dark, isn't it? So, like that. That is one. Second, you don't eat any time. You don't munch, munch, munch and have snacks at all. You only have breakfast, lunch, uh, tea, and dinner. And that's it. You don't have Italians 
you know, sitting in front of the TV and and munch, munch, munch while watching. And besides, uh, my husband didn't. My husband was one who didn't like to watch TV, didn't like to go to the cinema, or or, or uh, taking photos. So you can imagine how much adjustment I had to, you know, I had to go through, or had I had to, you know, make. So uh, it was strange for me, but in the end, you know, I got used to it. And that was it. And yeah, one one lady here inspired me to talk about Italian men's, uh, you know, uh, way of uh, living. So what I like about Italian men, at least my husband, is he's very, very clean. Very clean. Why? Because I one thing about Italian people, their bathrooms are so clean. I love Italian people's bathrooms. They're so clean. They have bidet, you know, bidet where they wash their, their, their you know, their private things. <laughs> so uh, I love that. And uh, they're very, very squeaky clean people. And my husband was like that. The only thing about my husband that I would complain is he never would like to have a bed, a breakfast in bed. He's, he wasn't accustomed to it. So that was one thing that I missed being with a man. And that is to have a breakfast in bed, especially on weekend. You know, on a weekend, like Saturday morning or sat Sunday morning, you know, I never had that. So I missed that from him because he refused. He just didn't like. That is one. Second, you know, he's not the kind of guy who likes to hang, hang around in bed. So the moment maybe I felt a little bit lazy and I didn't feel like getting up. And he was all dressed, you know, all shoes on, you know, socks on ready to go out every day and I used to get tired and I would just lie down in bed and he would say come on let's go let's go let's go and so I, I, you know I'm not an energetic person where I could go every day out every day out so I would lie down in bed and he would just ask me are you sick are you sick oh my god he's not accustomed to this kind of leisurely living when it comes to hang around in bed, having breakfast in bed, please don't ever eat in bed, never. But in, in the end, I love that about Italian people. You know, they're so clean. They're so they don't eat in bed at all. So I like that. And yeah, what else that uh, living with Italian men that was uh, really uh, surprising, but wonderfully surprising. Very dressed every day <laughs> ready to go out oh and i was so lucky to have my husband who liked to go into the shops not only supermarkets but shops and he loved clothes shops be it for men or women and you know when it's women shops on the window, he already see what he likes. And he would say to me, can you go in and try it on? Oh my God, I got used to it slowly, slowly, okay? At the beginning, I was a little bit, you know, uh, taken aback. Oh, okay. He said, look, I like this dress. Why don't you try it on? So I would try it on thinking that, okay, he would buy and we would pack it pack it, uh, you know, put it in the bag and take it home. And he said, no, 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 put it on right away. <laughs> so it's so funny because I would feel like, <laughs> I feel like a peasant girl, you know, <laughs> that somebody just dresses me up and then, <laughs> and then wants me to wear it right away. So he used to do that to me. So I just followed, you know, <laughs> so even though the dress is like for evening, and we were, I think, at the shop around 4 o'clock, and he would tell me to dress. So I was all dressed up at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> so that was him, you know. That was him that, that, that I just adore, you know. I just adore about him. 
at that moment I didn't know how to appreciate only now okay <laughs> what about oh and he loved food of course he loved his wine and he loved the fridge to be well stocked and every time he went to the to, to uh, he went abroad and I would neglect because you know I would just buy food from the supermarket and eat couldn't be bothered to go to cook and then there was a time maybe he came a little bit earlier and then he got the fridge to be like semi-empty you know and he said what what is the matter with you what do you eat <laughs> so he always fills up I still speak present present tense can you believe that he always filled up the the fridge that was number one that was number one fridge full of food all kinds oh, so I miss that I miss that <laughs> I miss that and he was the man that I enjoyed having a meal with uh, because he knows how to appreciate the food and he made me appreciate the food too so I he, and I I'm so glad that I told him that you know on his visit in Jakarta I did tell him that I said you know something darling I said you know you are the only man in my life that makes me enjoy mealtime you know food you are the only one and I'm so glad I told him that and that was like two months before his demise you know I'm so glad he knows that about him so yeah so what else that is funny about him you know about Italian men to live with yeah very very uh, structured very orderly very clean and very very aware of beautiful clothes you know cashmere uh, wool has to be 100% no synthetic clothes no synthetic the acrylic the uh, the what do you call all those synthetic stuff he oh he detested you know if it's cotton cotton if it's uh, wool wool if it's uh, linen linen cotton and linen cotton and silk cashmere as a matter of fact when we went to London he was the one who told me let's go to this uh, Knightsbridge uh, this uh, uh, was it uh, what's the name not Fort Newman Mason that's for, for, for food mm. Liberty Liberty right and he said try that one and at that time I didn't understand Kashmir yet he said try that on it's, it was a winter uh, sweater beige I have the photo beige sweater with cow, cow neck and so tried it on and I tried it's so, okay you know I like that he bought it that was my first cashmere sweater that I ever wore in my life you know and uh, yeah in beige color and then he saw a black leather jacket he asked me to try it on and he bought it for me also so that was the type of man that I had as a husband he he loves clothes he loves you know you to dress up as his woman and there i was a little bit lazy sometimes you know not really wanting to dress up every time so anyway now i regret <laughs> oh well anyway so that's all i think for my vlog that was supposed to be on friday and now this is sunday i'm just joining them together i hope you don't mind just sharing some part of my life that is fun and wonderful okay so hope you're having a lovely weekend and I'm uh, Sunday and you can see here I am you know perspiring again but hey this is tropical country and I don't switch on air condition okay so um, have a good week ahead and talk to you again soon on Wednesday my bed and breakfast guest is arriving around 9 o'clock 10 o'clock tonight so bye bye for now Talk to you soon. Ciao, ciao.